So, you're finally ready to break out of that common box of 4-4 four, four time. But, you're sitting there asking yourself, how do I count some of these odd meters in 7, 13, 11, or even just something in 5? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So stick around. Hello, I'm Donnie Bell, and welcome to Math Drumming. Every week we upload new videos on irrational rhythms, polyrhythms, grids, fractional time signatures, and today's video, odd meters. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today's video comes from Sam Strain who asks, how do you count in odd meters? Odd meters, odd as in strange ones, are oftentimes referred to as complex or irregular meters since they contain a combination of both simple and compound beats. Okay, that's great, but really, what are simple and compound beats? A simple beat really just refers to a group of two subbeats, whereas a compound beat refers to a group of three subbeats. We're able to identify which note qualifies as a subbeat by looking at the bottom number of the time signature. We then are able to determine how many subbeats we'll have in each measure by looking at the top number of the time signature. For example, in 5-8 time, we're able to see that 8 in the bottom number indicates that the 8th note will represent the subbeat, while 5 in the top number represents the total number being implemented. Although 5 is the total number of subbeats, we want to count as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Instead, we're going to break down the count into a combination of 2's and 3's, in this case leaving us with one simple beat and one compound beat. Okay, but how do I know if the first beat begins with 2 or 3? Take a look at how the 8th notes are grouped in both the top and bottom examples of 5-8 time. The rhythm on the top beginning with two eighth notes beamed together should be a dead giveaway that the first group is a simple beat. I would count this as one, two, one, two, three. The bottom rhythm, however, beginning with three eighth notes beamed together indicates that its first group is a compound beat. Count this as one, two, three, one, two. Try to figure out the count in this first excerpt by looking at how the eighth notes are grouped together. So, did you figure it out? If you said 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, then you're correct. Remember, we know that the count is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 because the beginning three eighth notes are being together, indicating that the first group is a compound beat. All right, so if 5 eight time is a combination of one simple and one compound beat, what would happen if I introduced an additional simple beat? Well, that is exactly what 7 eight time is. Look at how the subbeats, again represented by the eighth notes, are grouped in the top, middle, and bottom examples of 7-8 time. The rhythm on the top, beginning with two eighth notes beamed together, indicates that the first group is a simple beat. I would count this as 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. The middle rhythm also begins with two eighth notes beamed together. However, we'll notice that the compound beat has shifted left to the middle of the rhythm. Count this as 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. The bottom rhythm, again, begins with three eighth notes being together, indicating that its first group is a compound beat. Count this as 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. Try to figure out which of these three counts are being used in this excerpt. Which one is it this time? If you said one, two, one, two, three, one, two, then you're correct. 
We know that the count is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, because the beginning two eighth notes beam together are followed by a group of three eighth notes, which is in turn followed by another group of two. Got it? Great. Next, let's apply this concept to 11 16 time. Here, 16 in the bottom number, indicating that the 16th note will represent the subbeat, while 11 in the top number represents the total number being implemented. Again, 11 may be the total number of subbeats, but we're not going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Instead, we're going to break down the count from 11 into a combination of 2s and 3s. As the top number continues to grow, you'll find that the total number of simple and compound beats will vary and be interchangeable. For instance, we now have the ability to swap out two compound beats for three simple beats. For this example though, let's stick with just one simple beat and three compound beats. This will give us four variations. See how the sixteenth notes are grouped. The rhythm on the top, beginning with two sixteenth notes being together, the next rhythm down, beginning with three sixteenth notes beamed together, as a result of the simple beat shifting to the right, the following rhythm with the simple beat on the third group, and the bottom rhythm with the simple beat making up the last group. Try to figure out which of these counts are used in this excerpt. So, which one is it? I'll admit, this was a bit more difficult, but if you were paying attention to how the 16th notes on the hi-hat were grouped on top, you'd have figured out that the correct count would be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Although awkward at first, this concept of breaking down odd meter counts into various combinations of twos and threes will eventually open up a bit more creative freedom for any drummer seeking to march to the beat of their own drum. So there you have it. If you found this video to be helpful, please share it with a friend. If you have another method of counting odd meters, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and remember, keep counting and don't stop drumming.